Hi, I hope you're doing well. So in this video, I want to talk to you about a new feature in Python 3.9, which is regarding prefixes and suffixes of strings. Here I have a string called my text, which is hi there, and then remove this. And what I want to do is, as you probably suspect, to simply remove this part of the string. So I want to show you first two old ways of doing this, and then finally a new way of doing it. The old way, which is not recommended, is to use the built-in method called rstrip. So here let's make a new text variable. And then I use the method rstrip. So most of you have probably seen this. This usually just strips the white space at the end of my string. But if I actually pass in some letters here, then this will also be removed. The problem now is that if I run this, then actually I remove the remove this, but if you see here, I also remove the last E in there. This is a big problem because this is not what I want at all. So what rstrip does is not to take this as a word and look for it, it looks for the letters individually. So it removes all of this, but it also removes the E because I've told it to remove E's at the end of words. So this can create a really subtle bug in your program, so it doesn't give me an error, just gives me the wrong string back out. So I would not suggest to do this at all. There is, however, an old way of doing this which does work. It's simply to make your own utility function. So let me just paste it in here and then we can go through it. So this is a function called suffix removal. It takes in a text and a suffix. It checks with the built-in ends with function whether my text has the given suffix as a suffix. And then if this is so, then it returns the modified word where this is removed. Otherwise, if it doesn't contain this, it just returns the word as it is. We can see now that if I try to do this, then let's do it for my text. And the word I want to remove is remove this. I run it, then you can see here on the second line that this actually does work. There is a small subtle bug here. You could pass in the empty string here, and this will actually give you something you don't want. You could get around this, but you start to realize that this is a lot of work just to do something really, really simple. This should hopefully be a one-liner in Python. And with the new 3.9 Python, this is the case. And what I can do is just to use the built-in new Python 3.9 methods. Remove suffix and remove prefix. So in our case, we're working with a suffix we want to remove, namely this. Just to clarify, suffixes are at the end of the words and prefixes are at the beginning. So how can we do this? Well, we can simply do it in one line. We can use the my text. Then we can use the new built-in method called remove suffix. And the suffix I want to remove is remove this. Now, I print this. This does exactly the same, except that it doesn't have the subtle bug that you can find here. So here you can have it in a single line. Complementary to this, you of course also have the remove prefix method. So let's just remove high. Now you can see that high has been removed. Before we do a practical sample, you should note that this only removes something once. So say if your string is Hi there, remove this. Remove this, so you have it twice. Then if you run this, you can see here, so this line here is the one we have from our new method here, and it only removes that remove this once. If you want to do this multiple time, I suggest to just use a while loop. Okay, so at the end, let's do a small interesting example of this. So this here is obviously just a toy example. Something which is still pretty simple, but maybe a bit more interesting is that I have a list called file names, and this is a list of HTML files. Whether it's HTML or some other file type is not really important, but let's just do HTML. So we have HTML files representing maybe a website, so we have an index page, an about page, a contact page, and all the way at the end we have an affiliate page. So here are the pages. What I want to do is simply remove the .html, so I just want the base file names. So I'll make a new variable. So what I want here is a new list, not modifying the old one, such I just get index, about, contact, and affiliate without the .html ending in each of the names. If you want to, just pause the video here for a few seconds and see how you might do this. Okay, so not surprisingly, I want to use the remove suffix method here. If you want to do this in one line, then you can do, for instance, a list comprehension. So let's take each name and use the remove suffix method on it. 
what I want to remove is a .html extension for each name in file names, like this. And now, if I go out to print, print my new list, then you can see here that I get index, about, contact, and affiliate, all without the HTML extension. If one of the items here in the list did not have the HTML extension, let's say our goals, like this, for some reason this didn't have the HTML extension, then if I run this, then nothing will be changed. The reason for this is that if it doesn't end with .html, this doesn't do anything at all. So here I have just the base file names in one single line. No need to make extra utility functions and no need to worry about scary bugs sneaking into your program. So this is really all I wanted to say about the new remove suffix and remove prefix method in Python 3.9. I really like these methods and they're a great addition to the Python string methods. Thanks and I'll see you again soon.